When the report started to filter in about a Hamas attack of Israel on October 7th, former Army Major Harrison Mann knew what to expect. All hands on deck, people working late hours, you know, 24-7 at the outset. What was unexpected for him was Israel's response. We saw, even from the first days of the Israeli air campaign, willingness to inflict very high civilian casualties. A response this 13-year Army vet working on Middle East issues for the Defense Intelligence Agency says was enabled by U.S. weapons and indiscriminately targeted Palestinian civilians. Were the Israelis using American weapons against civilians in Gaza? I can say almost certainly yes. But were they doing so intentionally? I don't know how you kill 35,000 civilians by accident. Man resigned in November. This is your letter. No longer able to justify his work to himself, which he explained to his colleagues in a letter. At some point, whatever the justification, you're either advancing a policy that enables the mass starvation of children or you're not. You felt your work was directly connected to starving children. Yes. Another U.S. government official announced today she has resigned. To More than a half dozen government officials have publicly resigned in protest of U.S. support for Israel's war. Man is the first from the military, the first from the intelligence community, and the first who's Jewish. I understand if people are, are, are angry that I chose to speak about this, but I didn't really feel like I had that much of a, of a choice. The grandson of Jews who fled the anti-Semitism of Eastern Europe, man doesn't agree that the cry of never again that galvanized Jews after the Holocaust warrants the current Israeli response. They're not responding in a way that is productive for, for the security of the state of Israel or Jews worldwide. And I think using never again as a justification, I'm confident saying it's it's certainly you know some measure of, of ethnic cleansing. I do not think is in the spirit of never again.